Good evening. Good evening. Hello, how are you? Thank you, teacher. Eh, le quiero contar que el lunes terminé la, la plataforma. Okay, good, excellent. And what was your score? 100% dice ahí. 100%? Wow. Excellent. So you feel it easy or difficult? Um, so so. Um, easy. Easy? Yes. Okay, excellent. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Give me just a second. Give me just a second, guys. Don't disconnect, don't disconnect. Okay, let's see, just give me a small second. I need to report just a little something. What happened here? Uh, let me just close this. Okay, let's see. Urania, hello, good evening. Hello, teacher, good evening. How are you? Uh, so good. So good. How was your day? Um, today was uh, hard. <laughs> okay. Yes. I, I was working and in my thesis. Thesis. Thesis, yes, all day long. Okay. Really? Yeah. And how was the work? Easy or difficult? Ah, uh, difficult. Really, what did you do today? Tell me. Um, I. Um, um, I, como fue? <laughs> Don't listen. <laughs> Don't listen, teacher. What did you do? Working with the thesis, what did you exactly ah, do? Ah, okay. Ah, um, um, uh, some... Forms? Forms. Some form? Oh, yes. you feel in some form. Uh, the conciliación de bancarios. Oh, really? Yes. Uh, 
el proceso, no sé cómo se dice. The process. The process, the process. For um, make the, or to prepare the conciliación bancaria. Oh, really? That sounds interesting. Yes, but <laughs> it's, it, it's difficult. For me, it's difficult. <laughs> okay, okay. I can, I can tell, I can tell. Well, let's see, Carol. Hello, Carol. How are you? Carol. Hi. Hello, how are Hi, you? Hi, teacher. How are you? Tell me, how was your day? No sirve el micrófono. Yours or mine? No. Okay, don't worry, don't worry, don't worry. Okay, let's see, there's Sarah. Hello, Sarah. Hello, teacher. How Hello. are you? I'm fine, and you? Hello, I am teacher. Just fine. Hello. Hi. Very good. Very good. Very good. Hello. I don't know who is speaking. Hello. Very so, good. Sarah, very tell good. me, how was your day? Um, um, very good. Very good. Okay, A long day. Um, a meeting in the afternoon. Meeting, oh, yeah. meeting with my with my team. That's just great. Okay, Sarah, thank you very much. Yes, thank you, teacher. There's uh, Joel. Hello, Joel. How are you? Hi, teacher. Good evening. How was your day? Tell me. Um, uh, is uh, so um, um, is relaxed in the morning. I had an uh, how do you say, entrevista interview, an interview. I, I, I have an interview in the afternoon and I will postulation new job. Oh, really? Oh, yes, you told me the other day. Yeah. So, how did it go? Uh, next. Um, and come back in my office. In I came back. My office. Okay. You came back to the office and then? Y luego? And when, when and selects um, route, route uh, my home. Okay. Well, thank you very much, Joel. Let's You're see. Welcome. There's, 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 there's Flora. Good evening, Flora. How are you? Good evening. How are you? I am just fine. Great. What about you? Very good. How was your day, Flora? My day was a bit calm. Your day was calm? Yes. 
Okay, what did you do during the day? Tell me, did you go to work? How was the work in the office? Everything was relaxed? Tell me. Uh, I worked, uh, desde las ocho, o como se dice, desde las... Since, since. You say since. Since. I worked since 8 a.m. to 4 p.m. Okay. Oh, well, in this case, it's from. Desde hasta es from. Uh-huh. To. From 8 a.m. to 4 p.m. During... The day, the, 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 the day or day, day? During the day. Uh, give an appointment. Fill out, fill out health insurance forms. Insurance forms. And as well, pass. Patients, calls? Patients. Mm -hmm. Oh, calls from patients. Oh. Um, uh, May consultation, consultation records. Okay. Oh, so you had a very busy day. Yes. Mm. Okay, perfect. That's perfect. No problem. No problem. So let's see. Suli. Hi, teacher. Hi, teacher. How was your day, Suli? Um, uh, my day is happy <laughs> because uh, my free day oh really what did you do today tell me i go i go when i went uh i went multiplaza okay perfect excellent what did you buy for me tell me me compró. Ok, um, I am lunch, tacos. Tacos. Ok, tacos for lunch. Wow, delicious. So you were yes. at Multiplaza, you were at Multiplaza in the morning or in the, in the afternoon? In the afternoon. Ok, ok, excellent, excellent. Well, guys, thank you, Suli. Okay, today we are going to work with the simple past. Do you remember, tell me guys, do you remember that I asked you to check the platform, the exercise 5.4 and 5.7? Yes, did you? Yes. Because we are going to analyze that video, okay? We are going to analyze it right here, right now. Let me share with you. Okay, where is it? It's right here and it's here. Let's see. We are going to work today with the questions with the past of B. Okay? Listen. In this class, you'll learn how to ask and answer questions with the past of B. Additionally, you'll also learn how to express years. Let's get started by analyzing the questions that you see on this chart. Questions with the past of B. Were you born in the U.S.? Yes, I was. No, I wasn't. Was your brother born in 1984? Yes, he was. No, he wasn't. Were your parents born in Incheon? 
Yes, they were. No, they weren't. Where were you born? I was born in Korea. When was he born? He was born in 1985. What city were they born in? They were born in Seoul. Years. 1906. 1917. 1999. 2001. To form questions with the past, we can follow this formula. WH word plus was or where plus subject plus complement. Let me point out that whenever we make yes or no questions, there won't be a WH word. Let's analyze a couple of examples. Were you born in the US? In this case, this is a yes or no question, so we don't add a WH word. The first thing we do is add the verb to be in the past, where. Next we need to include the subject, you. Finally we need to add the complement and a question mark at the end, born in the US. To answer this topic question we can answer positively by saying, yes I was, or negatively by saying, no I wasn't. Let's analyze one last example. Where were you born? In this case, this is a WH question. We need to add a WH word. The first thing we need to do is to add a WH word. Next, we need to include the verb to be in the past, where. After that, we need to add the subject, you. Finally, we need to add a complement and a question mark born. Now it's your turn to practice. I would like for you to practice making questions about place of origin and birthdays, similar to the examples on the chart. After you finish this activity, share your work in our discussion forum. Okay guys, let's see. Were your parents born in... Let's see, first of all, if you see, when we are doing questions with the paso B, we have here the auxiliary, the verb was aware. Remember, this is the verb. Then we have the subject, then the complement, and then the question mark. And we have short answers. Yes, I was. No, I wasn't. Look at the same second example. Was your brother born in 1984? Remember, when we are saying dates this long, we can divide it in half. And this is 19. And this is 84, okay? And we say, yes, he was or no, he wasn't. Then, were your parents born in Inca? Yes, they were. No, they weren't. Okay, let's see. Up to here, is there any question? No? No, no teacher. Okay. Remember, it's very important that we remember that when we talk about the verb be, the verb be got its own rules, okay? The verb be has its own rules. So it doesn't follow the rest of the rules. The rest of the rules don't apply with it, okay? The verb be just have one simple rule. And it's subject, verb, complement, affirmative. Subject verb, not, complement, negative, like in affirmative, I am a student, negative, I am not a student, interrogative, okay, in the interrogative, the verb and the subject switch places, am I a student, you see, different, am I, am I a student, and is the same structure, exactly the same structure for the present than for the past. The only thing that changes is the conjugation of the verb be. That in present is am, is are, in past is was, were. Okay? Let's, let me share with you now 
a small presentation that I prepared for you guys. Okay, here we have the small presentation. Let's check it out. Okay, we are talking about simple past tense. When we have yes, no questions, remember that yes, no questions are the ones that start directly with the verb. And these are not asking for information. They are asking for an answer of yes or no, okay? The possible questions could be yes or no, like, Ana Maria, were you in class yesterday? And she tells me, no, I wasn't. Very simple. You see, the verb be and the subject. Remember that where is the conjugation of the verb be for the past. So, were you in class yesterday? Short answer, affirmative. Yes, we were. We were in class yesterday. Now look, yes, no question, short answer, long answer. Were you in class yesterday? No, we weren't. Like if I ask you right now, hey, were you in class yesterday? You tell me, no, we weren't. Or if you want to answer a long answer, we weren't in class yesterday. We use the long answer when we want to emphasize, okay? or Clarify. Utilizamos la respuesta larga para enfatizar o aclarar. Right? Let's continue. Look, yes, no question. Short answer, long answer. Was Jean at the library last week? Yes, she was. Short answer. Long answer, she was at the library last week. Remember, as the question was about Jean, was the third person, the same was in the answer. Yes, she was. Look in this case, it's the negative situation of the same question. Was Jean at the library last week? No, she wasn't. She wasn't at the library last week. Very, very simple okay any question up to here pregunta no teacher okay let's continue let's see look at the example was anna in class yesterday again remember we have the verb the subject and the complement. Short answer, no, she wasn't. She wasn't in class yesterday. Were you and John at the beach last week? Yes, we were. We were at the beach last week. You see? These are the short answers and then we have long answer. Now, let's see, before we continue, Let's see, tell me, Urania, were you at home last Sunday? Repeat, teacher, please. Were you at home last Sunday? No, I wasn't. Okay, where were you last Sunday? Tell me. Um... I I was with my family in the park. Oh, really? You went to a park with your family? Yes. That's excellent. Thank you very much. Yeah. Okay. Ana Maria, hello. Hello, teacher. How are you, Ana Maria? Hello. Hello, good. Okay. Tell me, Ana Maria, were you at home last Sunday? Yes, I were. Yes, I was. Ah, yes, yes, I was. Okay, remember, 
we use was for I, he, she, or it. And remember, we, we use were for you, we, and they. Okay, but let's continue with the presentation because there's a lot of information there. Okay, now we have the time expressions, okay? Look, and we remember to use time expressions. Time expression help us to be more specific with what we are saying. Bob was here yesterday. Or perhaps we say Bob was here yesterday morning, yesterday afternoon, yesterday evening. That's used when we want to be more specific. Simple, no? Another time expression we have now, last. Okay? Look at this example. It was here last night, last week, last month, last year, last spring, last summer, last Monday, last Friday. If you notice, in this case, we put first the word last and then the moment, okay? Do you remember that last means el pasado o la pasada? Like, it was here last night. Like, uh, we were not in class last night, okay? There was not internet signal in my house last night. Simple. Any question with last? Alguna pregunta? Teacher. Yes, tell me. What is the meaning of spring? Spring. Primavera. Yes. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome, mister. Now let's continue. Now we have a go, okay? Okay, now we have a go. Look, Omar was here five minutes ago. Omar was here two hours ago. Omar was here six days ago. Omar was here a month ago. Omar was here a year ago. Omar was here 10 years ago. If you notice, in this case, we have I go right at the end, okay? We say the moment and then we go to a go. Remember, this means, uh, this will mean for us like assay, okay? Questions? Not teacher. Okay, perfect, let's continue. We use yesterday with morning, afternoon, evening. We use last with night, long periods of time like the night, the month, the seasons, the year, or we use it with the days of the week, like last Sunday. Remember I asked Urania, uh, what? Were you at home last Sunday? Because I was referring to a day of the week, okay? So it's very simple. Now, with the length of time, cuando nos referimos a la duración, five minutes, two hours, six days, a month, five months, one year, 10 years, we use ago. Remember, we are talking about in the past because if it's uh, if it's for the future we say five minutes from now six days from now a partir de ahora but in this case as we are talking about the past we use ago right now before let's see oh Oh, there's Wendy, yeah. Sorry, Wendy, I'm just watching your 
message right now because we were in the, in the presentation. <laughs> okay, teacher. So you got problems with the company. Yes, I hate table. I'm sorry. Okay, you will get in trouble with some classmates here. Okay. Okay, let's see. But it's good that you are finally in class. Don't worry, don't worry. We still got time. Okay. So before we move on, let's see. Urania. Hello, Urania. Homework. Hello. Do you remember the homework? Um, no. <laughs> I don't remember. <laughs> you don't remember the homework? Okay, who brought me the homework, guys? If you remember, we were we were working in the class, in last class we were working, and we were making a small conversation where you were saying to your classmate the activities you did, and you were going to include at least two sentences using mm, yeah. the part of B. Okay, yeah. now you remember? Yes, okay. I remember. You, you have it, Urania, for me? Yes. I remember. <laughs> okay, perfect. Now, I want to hear you. you I it. don't. I don't find, I don't find it. <laughs> okay, okay, let's see. Sarah, what about you? Look for it, Urania. I'll okay. come back to you later. Okay. Sarah, do you remember the homework? Uh, hello, teacher. Um, and... Okay, don't worry, Sarah. Tell me, what did you do last Sunday? Um, the last Sunday I go to the beach. I went, I went, I went. I went go to the beach. No, I went. Went is the past of go. Ah, okay. Entonces sería, I went, go to the beach. No, 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 no. Listen. Went Ay, ya me, ya me confundí. <laughs> went is the past of the verb go. Okay. okay. When is the verb go in pasado? So you don't say both in the same sentence. You say, uh, I went to the beach. I went okay. to the beach. Ah, okay, okay. Okay, tell okay. me more. I went to the beach and I went to eat, eat um, shrimp. Shrimp? Okay. And fish. And fish. Okay, good, excellent. Yes, I went drive, driving in the highway. Okay, not drinking then. No, no, <laughs> no, I, I don't drink. <laughs> not allowed if you are no. driving. Okay, excellent. Yes, and I drink, and I drink soda. <laughs> okay, soda is allowed. <laughs> Excellent. Thank you, Sarah. So, Urania, you found your homework? Okay, give it to me. Yes, teacher. <laughs> Wendy was San Francisco, Chinameca. Oh, really? Uh -huh. Yes, oh, and, and she wasn't dry, and she come back very early. She came back. She came back. She came back. And she didn't drive. Okay, yes. that's interesting. Thank you very much, Urania. Okay. Wendy, tell me about Urania, please. Mm -hmm. you I don't remember. remember, teacher. Oh, come on, Wendy. Come on. That's why I got <laughs> notes. Okay, guys, don't worry, don't worry. Right now, we are going to do another activity, a very different activity. I'm going to give you, let me see, right now, I have it here. And I'm going to switch a little bit the activity because what I am going to do is that I'm going to give you four questions and you're going to ask your classmates 
those questions. And I want you to gather the answers, okay? The first okay. question is, let's see, the first question is going to be, let me see, where were you born? Okay, that's the first question. Where were you born? Now, the second question, were you a youth student? The third question, were your parents strict? with you you can check them in the chat i am writing them i am typing them there for you okay and the last question is very simple was your english class easy at school very simple look the first question where were you born were you a good student? Were your parents strict with you? Was your English class easy at school? Four simple questions, okay? Now, I am going to divide you in small groups for you to develop the exercise. Let's see. Are you ready for the teamwork? Estamos listos para el trabajo grupal? You got all the sentences? Yes, no, sir. I, I am not. Okay, okay, okay. Remember, the first one, I will repeat the pronunciation. Where were you born? The where second were sentence. You? Were you when? a good student? The third sentence. Were your parents strict with you? The fourth sentence. Was your English class easy at school? Very simple, no? Yes, teacher. Okay, let's do it. No. Born, uh, born in Guaymango, Aguachapan. Wow, Guaymango. Is that close yes. or far? Hello, teacher. Is it cerca or lejos? Uh, is uh, how do you say it? Uh, lejos? Far. Far, far, uh, is uh, is and near near uh, near to Apaneca. Near Apaneca. Near Apaneca. Um, see, near Apaneca is oh, is uh, Guayma Guaymango is uh, between. Uh, Jujutla en San Pedro Puxla en, en Jujutla is no, is located the Barra de Santiago. Oh, I know Barra de Santiago. Okay. Okay, so perhaps I have passed by. Quizás he pasado cerca. Okay. <laughs> okay, well, continue, guys. Thank you, teacher. Were your parents strict 
uh, with you. Ahí sería no. They. No, no they, they weren't. Huh? They weren't. They weren't. They weren't. No. En mi, y yo cuando le escribo, igual. Sorry. Y yo, cuando yo le escribo, yo, o sea, para poner, para pronunciar, para decírsela yo la información de Flor, igual. No, they weren't. No, they weren't. Yes, because the subject is your parent. The subject is ellos. Hey, okay. okay. Like when we talk about the class, the subject is it. The class, okay? So no, it wasn't, or yes, it was. Okay. English class is at school? Uh, yes, at the school, yes. But in the, do you say bachillerato in English? High school. High school. High school. In high school, was more difficult. Okay. Ana Maria, welcome back. Thank you, teacher. You were lost for a couple of classes. Yes, uh, two classes. Yeah, I remember. I noticed. I noticed. Yes, yeah, <laughs> sorry. But my kids didn't sleep. Oh, yeah, that's a problem. Well, let's continue. Okay, teacher. Okay. Thank you. Is your English class easy at school? Mm. Repeat, please. I um, understand the question. Okay. Was your English class easy at school? Uh, yes. No, no, I, no, I won't. Mm. Tienes que decir no, eh, no it, it, it wasn't, was. it wasn't. Oh. No, it wasn't. Okay. Eh, and the teacher is very, very angry. Oh, sorry, very, very fury. Very what? <laughs> the teacher is um. ¿Cómo se dice furioso? Furious. 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 Furious English. <laughs> you finished? Yeah, teacher. Yeah. Okay, just let me check the last group and we finish, okay? Con la conia, ajá. Ay, móvil. Ay, I finished, teacher. I finished. Okay. Excellent. So I'm going to let everybody know that we are going back. Okay. Okay, okay, teacher. Bye, Sarita. Okay, let's see, let's see, let's see. I'm going to start asking people. So tell me, Sarah, where were you born? You, where were you born? Ah, I, I were in San Salvador. I was born. I was born in San Salvador. Okay, tell me, did you like going to school? Yes, I was. Ah, listen, <laughs> listen to my question. Did you like going to school? Ah. Mm -hmm. Yes, I did. Or no, I yes, didn't. I, yes, I did. Okay, now, were you a good student? Yes, I was. Okay. And tell me, were your parents strict with you? Well, they very strict? Yes, they were. Okay. And was your English class easy at school? Um, yes, I was. It? It was. 
Remember, because I'm talking about the class. So when I'm talking about the class, if I am not going to use the word the class, I say it. Okay, it constitutes the class. Ah, okay. okay. Yes. Yes. Thank you, Sarah. Thank you, teacher. Suli. Hello, Suli. Hello, teacher. Where were you born, Suli? Um, in San Salvador. Oh, really? And tell me, yes. where did you go to school? Mm, where did you go to school? To school? A donde? Um, Which school? A donde? Where? Um, yeah, the name of the school. Do you remember the name of the school? Yes, in the Colegio Cristiano Jardín de San Jose. Oh, really? And tell me, were you a good student? Yes. Yes, uh, I was. I don't believe you that much. Hi, <laughs> <Right>, teacher. <laughs> <laughs> tell me, were your parents strict with you, Sully? Yes, they were. Okay. And what about your English class? Did you like your English class? Was it was your English class easy for you? Yes, it was. Okay, perfect. Thank you very much, Sully. No problem. Okay, okay, okay. Let's see. Ana Maria. Hello. Hello. Tell me, Ana Maria, where were you born? Uh, I was born in San Salvador. Okay. Hmm. Where are you from, Sonsonate? Your parents are from over there. My grandfather. Oh, your grandfather. Yes. I remember, I remember. Yes. Well, we got, we got something in common. My grandfather also was from Bisalco. Ah, uh, really? Yeah, this is a very small country. Yes. Okay, now let's see. And tell me. Where did you go to school, Ana Maria? Uh, I was... I, I went? went? I went, okay. I went to, to Santa Inés school. Santa Inés? Hmm. Santa Tecla. Oh, yes, I know. Oh my gosh, you were with the... What are those, uh, Dominica? No, uh, Salesiana. Oh, hi, cool. Okay, tell me, were you a good student, Ana Maria? Yes, I was. Oh, she says, yes, I was. Mm, I don't believe you that much, but anyway, <laughs> I'll take the word for it. No. Okay, okay. Now, tell me. Were your parents strict with you? Uh, yes. My mom was more strict than my father. Oh, really? Yeah, that's normal. Yes. One of them is always more strict than the other. So, yes. Normal. And tell me, what about your English class? Was your English class very difficult for you? Uh, no, it wasn't. No, it wasn't. It was easy. Okay, good. Excellent. Yeah, I can notice. I can notice. Thank you very much, Ana Maria. Okay. Carol, can you fix your microphone problems? Yes. <laughs> okay, perfect. Tell me, Carol, where were you born? Uh, I born... I, I was born... born. In I was born in San Salvador. Okay. Where in San Salvador? What part of San Salvador were you born? Um, at uh, Ciudad Delgado. Okay, Ciudad Delgado, yes. nice. You were really in San Salvador. Yes. <laughs> okay, excellent, excellent. 
Now tell me, where did you go to school? I... Or downtown San Salvador? Uh, in San Salvador, and uh, in, in the center, in Colegio Eucarístico. Downtown. 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 Mm -hmm. Oh, really? Yes. Okay, that's interesting. And tell me, were you a good student? Yes. Yes. Ye yes. Uh, ye yes. Was. I no, yes. I was. I was yes, good student. No? Okay, got a little. Listen to me. Listen <laughs> okay. to me. Yes, I was. Yes, I was. Okay. That's if you want the short answer. If you want okay. the long answer, yes, I was a good student. Okay. 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 Now tell me, were your parents very strict with you? Yes. In my mom, yes, yes I was. They uh, were. Uh, yes, they were. In my mom. In my mom is very, very. Oh, very <laughs> yeah, strict. Very oh. strict. Okay, that's good, that's good, because they told me you were a bad girl. Thank you. Thank you very much, Carol. Okay. Let's see, let's see, Flora. Hello, Flora. Flora's been quiet today. <laughs> Hello. Hello, Flora. Tell me, were you a good student at school? Yes, I was. Okay, and where were you <laughs> born, Flora? I was born in San Salvador. Okay, nice. Uh, how was your English class for you? Was your English class easy? Um, yes, it was. Okay, perfect. Thank you very much, Flora. So let's see, okay. Mr. Alberto. Hello, Alberto. Hi, teacher. How are you? I'm good. Okay, tell me, Alberto, where were you born? I was born in Guaymango, Aguachapán. Oh, yeah, you told me it's very far. Very okay. far. It's, it's near uh, Apaneca and Ataco. Is it fresh or hot? Um, in Guaymango, is a uh, hot. But oh. apaneca and ataco is fresh. Yeah, they, they are fresh. Okay, please don't take me there. I don't like it when it's hot. Tell me, where did you study? Where did you go to school? There in Guaymango or here in San Salvador? I I went the different I went the different school. I went for a school um, uh, first. Uh, I uh, study uh, the 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 school for my no sé uh, how do you say canton canton little town it's a yeah, town I, I, uh, I i i i study the of the three uh, school for my a uh, little little town okay. uh, but Actually, in your case in your case is your home hometown hometown el pueblo o el lugar de origen hometown now tell okay. me mister were you a good student in this case i i i Yes, you were or was not you were? Oh, uh, I, no. I, 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 I were, I weren't. Okay, no, no, listen. No, I wasn't. Okay. Or yes, no, I, I was. wasn't. You were not. Well, for, yeah, for you... this module, uh, I, I considered. Uh, no, yes, I, mean, I wasn't. No. <laughs> here, here in this class, yes, I got no problems. But man, you went to do three different schools. Okay, no problem, no problem. Tell me, Mister, were your parents strict with you? 
Yes, they were, but my father is more strict than my my mother. Your mother. Okay, okay. Thank you very much, Mister. Okay. Mister Javier Mauricio. Hello, teacher. Good evening. How are you, Mister? I'm fine, teacher. And you? I'm just great. Tell me, where were you born, Mister? I were I were born in San Salvador. You were born in San Salvador. Okay. And where did you go to school? Yes, I was. Where? Where? Donde? Where? Uh, where? Um, I went to Bosco School. Oh my God! And tell me, were you a good student or a bad student? Uh, uh, yes, I got a student. Yes, I was a good student. Was good student. Okay, good, good. Okay, tell me. And were your parents very strict with you? No, they weren't. Okay, cool. Excellent. There was no need. No había necesidad, teacher. No. <laughs> okay. That's excellent. Unlike Urania. Urania was a bad student and her parents <laughs> had to be very strict with her. Hello, Urania. Tell me, where were you born, Urania? I was born in Chalchapa City. Chalchapa. Okay. And tell me, yeah. you went to study there in Chalchapa? You went to school there? Yes, I went to to public school. Public, public school. Public. Okay. Public school. Yes. Okay, and tell me, uh, were you a good student? Yes, I was. Okay. I was. I was very smart. <laughs> okay, I will try to believe you. Vamos a tratar de creerle. Ah. <laughs> And tell me, were your parents strict with you? No, they weren't. Okay. Um, they Urania. were they were very patient. They were very patient? Excellent. Yeah. Excellent. Yeah. They were very patient. That means that Urania was like, oh. Yeah. Really <laughs> tell me, Urania, uh, how was your English class? Was it easy or difficult? Um, very easy, very easy. Uh -huh. Right, excellent, good to know. Now, let's see, we are going to talk now who's missing. ¿Quién me falta? Let's see, Wendy. Wendy, you missing? Yes, you are, no? Ah, Wendy was like, no, it wasn't me. Tell me, Wendy, where were you born? I was born in San Salvador, downtown San Salvador. Okay, were you a good student, Wendy? Yes, I was a good student. She says, yes, like, mm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, Okay, tell me, were your parents strict with you? Uh, no, uh, uh, my no, they, wasn't because she uh, weren't, yes. My mother weren't because she didn't have a time um to supervise okay so in this case you were right in este caso usted estaba en lo correcto my mom wasn't mm -hmm. okay perfect let me just share with you the last point of the class guys let me compartirles el último punto de la clase okay let me see let me see okay right here Let's see. Hold on a second. Because uh, it's not 5.4, it's 5.7. Okay, I want to, I want you to notice this is from the platform, from English Corporativo platform, okay? This is the video that appears in 5.7. Negative contractions, okay? 
Listen to the video. Hi everyone. In this class you learn to sound natural when expressing contractions. Let's get started by analyzing the contractions on this chart. Aren't. Weren't. Don't. Can't. Two syllables. Isn't. Wasn't. Doesn't. Didn't. They didn't eat dinner because they weren't hungry. I don't like coffee and she doesn't like tea. These aren't their swimsuits. They can't swim. He wasn't here yesterday and he isn't here today. A quick tip to follow when expressing contractions is to extend the N. For example, I can't. They weren't. Now it's your turn to practice. Okay, so if you notice, when we make, when we say the contractions, if you notice, we pronounce the N longer, like wasn't, doesn't, didn't, can't. Always the sound of the N, remember the sound of the N, we make it here. That sound is made here. Can't, doesn't. If you notice, that sound is made with the upper part of our mouth, okay? The N. So that sound comes longer when we make contraction. And why is this important? Because when we are speaking in English, we always, always use contractions, okay? And when we are talking in using short answers, we use them all the time. Like, yes, I, no, I wasn't. No, they weren't. No, they didn't. No, she doesn't. No, I don't. And if you notice in each pronunciation, the end sounds a little bit longer. Because listen to this word, longer. Now listen, doesn't. Can you notice that the sound of the end is a little bit longer? Okay, guys. Well, I hope you have enjoyed your class. Espero que han disfrutado su clase. Because the time flew. Thank you very much for your time. And I'm sorry for yesterday. Me disculpan por el día de ayer, okay? No problem. But no problem, teacher. The connection was terrible yesterday. I know. Bye. Um, see you tomorrow. Bye. -bye. I see you tomorrow, teacher. Bye-bye, everybody. See you then. Good night. Good night. Bye. Bye.